Moving on to Gelato's second half. Since we did Gelato skip earlier, this segment will be very long. Starting off with Gelato 5, Piantissimo. After talking to him, you can choose to go right to the end or grab the rocket nozzle. Personally, I recommend just heading to the goal and using the hover nozzle. When you make it to the top, look at the rope. You have to kill both of the blue birds in this level, and they can be really annoying. If there are any here now, move Mario so he's in front of where they're facing. This will make it easier to kill them. To kill a bird in this game, you basically have to spray them three times, and there has to be enough time in between each spray so they can get hit again. So do this for any bird on the rope right now. Once you attempt to kill them, and they either die or fly away, touch the flagpole, ground pound the rope over here, and hover up to the upper rope, and grab the blue coin on the pole. Turn around and head back to the goal. If there are any birds, try and kill them before talking to Piantissimo so they don't fly away. Again, position Mario in front of where they're facing if you can. Hopefully, after two attempts, you should have both blue coins and can talk to Piantissimo and grab the shine. However, there is a significant RNG element to their movement, and it won't always work out this way. Just do your best to try and mitigate any bad luck you get in this level. Next up is Gelato Hundreds. Beginner players should do 100 coins in episode 3, which will skip a few blue coins, and you can grab the remaining blue coins in the Hidden Shine in episode 6. Advanced players should do hundreds in episode 6, and can do the Hidden Shine in episode 7 without getting any blue coins. I'll explain the Gelato 300s route first. To start, turn around and make your way to the island with the trees. Jump on the swing, spray to the left, and then spray the other way. Once you've collected the coins, jump up and hover onto the tree trunk. Spin jump to the leaves and collect the coins. Spin jump to the other trees and collect those coins as well. Spin jump dive off the tree into the water and water slide over to this plant. Spam spray it, collect the coins, and then water slide and roll out under the cash register to spawn these coins. You might have to jump up a few times if you don't spawn them all on the first try. Collect them and side flip up to collect these four ceiling coins and a blue. After this you should have 35 coins. Grab the rocket and rocket up to this platform with the M. Spray it and collect the coins. Then spin jump dive and roll out off the edge of this platform. Water slide at the plant and spam spray it. Collect the coins and rocket jump dive onto the mirror. Rocket jump dive again to the blue coin at the top and ground pound as soon as you cancel a text. Spin jump dive to the gold button and hit it. Collect the coins while walking carefully up the slope, making sure to not go at an angle or you might slide down. Jump dive after the last coin to clear the slope and go to this crevice for these coins. Wall jump up and spin jump rocket up to land cleanly on the upper rope. As soon as you land, jump dive onto the highest rope. This can be precise, so if you want to take it slower and skip the dive, you can do that. Do a full jump up to get the blue coin floating, and then press B while facing to the right or up to drop down. Time your spray so Mario starts spinning, and while holding forward at top speed, press A to launch off the rope, collecting the midair coins. Next, collect the coins underneath the platform, and do rocket rollouts to make it to the shine. If you're missing a coin, spray the thing in the front of the gelato skip area near the Pianta. After this, if you did gelato hundreds in episode 3, go to gelato 6 for the hidden shine. Move to the left and see what fruit Yoshi wants. Click the fruit in the cabana, unless it's coconut, where it'll be located on a nearby palm tree. If it's coconut, throw it towards Yoshi while falling from the tree. For any other fruit, throw it at this angle, and once you grab it again, you can either use a jump throw from a precise position depending on the fruit, or just a running throw, which is a bit safer. Yeah. 
With Yoshi, spam spray the last beach blue coin by sidestepping and spam spraying. Triple jump and spray the jelly so you can spray the plant right when you walk up to it. Collect the blue coin, then triple jump and eat the cataquack. After eating it, make sure to input left when you're falling so the blue coin doesn't fall out of bounds. Next, you can bring the beehive down by either spin jumping at a precise position, just past the shadow, or by spraying it. Once it comes down, eat the bees quickly and grab the blue coin. Then grab the cataquack coin that you just spawned and run up the mirror and grab the turbo nozzle. This is done to unlock it for Gelato 6 later. Turbo over and spray the hidden shine. After the cutscene, jump up, spin jump wall kick, and dive onto the slope or just turbo up to the shine. For Gelato 600s, to start, turn around and make your way to the island with the trees. Jump on the swing, spray the left, and then spray the other way. While on the swing, look over at Yoshi and see what fruit he wants, though this can be a bit difficult. You can check while on the top of the tree if you're not completely sure. Once you've collected the coins, jump up and hover to the tree trunk. Spin jump to the leaves and collect the coins. Spin jump to the other trees and collect these coins as well. Spin jump dive off the tree into the water and water slide over this small wall and scale it. Wall jump to this platform, get the coins and grab the rocket nozzle. Jump dive to the cabana, approach at an angle, and jump to spawn the cash register coins. If not all the coins spawn, you might have to jump a few times. Jump up and collect the coins, side flip to the blue coin and four coins on the ceiling, and grab the fruit Yoshi wants. Unless it's coconut, where it'll be located on a palm tree. If it's coconut, throw it towards Yoshi while falling from the tree. For any other fruit, throw it at this angle, and once you grab it again, you can either use a jump throw from a precise position depending on the fruit, or just a running throw which is a bit safer. Of course if it's banana, you'll have to throw it repeatedly to get it over there. With Yoshi, spam spray the last beach blue coin by sidestepping and spam spraying. Triple jump and spray the jelly so you can spray the plant right when you walk up to it. Collect the blue coin and triple jump and eat the cataquack. After eating it, make sure to input left when you're falling so the blue coin doesn't fall out of bounds. Next, you can bring down the beehive by either spin jumping at a precise position just past the shadow or by spraying it. Once it comes down, eat the bees quickly and get the coin. Now collect the cataquack coin on the right and hover up this big slope. Beyblade to the left or just spin jump if you don't want a Beyblade and slow your hover a bit to grab the floating blue coin. Ground pound as soon as you collect it and spin jump dive off of the mirror into the turbo nozzle. Turbo up the slope and hit the gold button. You can only miss one coin at most if you want to do this part optimally, which can be really tricky. Slide down at this angle and dive ground pound when you're near the edge. Hold up and side flip up the hill, collect the coins, and then slide down through the rest of the coins. If you ground pound late here, it's extremely costly, as you have to spray pretty much all of the cataquacks to make up the missed coins. If you miss at least five, there's four you can grab here in the inlet. Next, turbo to this crevice, grab the coins, and wall jump back up. Spin jump, dive ground pound to this rope. Jump, and then jump dive onto this next rope. Jump up to this rope, dive ground pound, and jump again. Jump dive onto the blue coin, fall down, and fling Mario through the air into these coins. Collect the coins under the cabana and then turbo to the shine.
For the Hidden Shine, with Gelato 600's route, enter Gelato 7, and Water Slide past Shadow Mario. Spin Jump and Water Slide again to the plant, Spam Spray it, and Spam Spray the Hidden Shine. After the cutscene, slide over and wall jump up to the green slope. If you do a dive roll out off of the edge here, you can run quickly up the slope and get the shine. Next up is Gelato 6. This level involves a lot of RNG and strange fish behavior, so I'll explain where the fish can go and how to deal with it. To start, spin jump onto the back island and jump dive into the turbo nozzle. Turbo to the first blue on the bottom of the ocean, grab it and swim upwards once. You should be at the right height to turbo right into the next blue coin with the fish here. Then turbo over to the next blue coin on the bottom. The very next blue coin can either be near the bottom on the left or near the surface on the right. If it's to the right, you can simply turbo into it, and it's a bit faster. The first red coin could be with a fish on the right side of the coral. If it's not, just swim into the coral and grab the first one here. Dive to the floor, then turbo through the next red coin and to the middle here. There could be either zero or two red coins with a fish here. At this point, if you have only one of the fish red coins, it means there's one more left that you have to deal with quickly. Turbo to the left, grab the coin past the wall, and there should be another fish coin if you didn't get them both. Grab it quickly before it clips out of bounds. If it is out of bounds, then you have to go back to it later. If you got it, dive through these annoying pole things, grab this coin, and turbo to the last area for the final coins. Again, these fish can be super annoying, so it's important to be good at maneuvering underwater, especially with the turbo nozzle. In Gelato 4, the sandbird portion has a lot of different ways you can approach it. If you just wait on the sandbird like normal, just enter with hover nozzle and ride the sandbird out normally. However, there's a faster strat that can skip having to wait and saves about 20 seconds. To start, jump dive over to the rocket nozzle on the right. Collect it and triple jump water slide until you're out of the mirror's shadow. Roll out here and spin jump into a rocket dive Y turn to enter the sandbird. With this route, you have to collect the coins as quickly as possible. Follow this movement to get the red coins as quickly as you can. Once you make it past the 6th coin and collect the blue in the cloud, dive roll out to the center. Jump to the 7th coin and start charging the rocket. Spin jump, hold up, and the rocket should go off at the peak of your spin jump. When this happens, switch to spray nozzle and spam spray to make the cloud grow. If your red coin movement is slow, you may have to hold back a bit so you don't miss the cloud by going too far. Collect the blue in the cloud and spin jump rocket again off the edge of the cloud at this angle. When the rocket goes off, dive, and you should make it to the cloud up here. Collect the blue and set up on this edge of the cloud, facing a bit to the left of this pillar. If you aren't close enough to the edge, the rocket storage won't work. Do a double rocket storage and sidestep off the edge. Hold forward, and when you reach the peak of the jump, rocket up again and dive. With a decent angle, you should make it to this cloud over here. Spray the cloud to make it expand, and do a rocket roll it off the edge. You only need two rocket rollouts to make it to the final platform. If your rocket roller is poor or you fail it altogether, just land on this ring down here, and double rocket storage to make it back up easily. Of course if you hate rocket rollouts you can just do a single rocket storage off the last cloud to make it to the final platform. From here collect the 8th coin and you're done. Wiggler is a tricky boss, and you can spend a lot of time here if you don't know what you're doing. There are two main routes that you can use to defeat the Wiggler, with an additional tough optimization that I'll address later. Let's start with the easier route. Jump dive forward twice and spray the plant. Once Wiggler gets knocked down, wait a bit for him to slow down, and then ground pound the part under the arrow, which will always be random. Head to the rightmost triangle and spray it. Water slide over to the blue coin, slide to the peninsula, and quickly spam spray the plant. Pound Wiggler again, slide over to the other triangle, and spray it. Then slide over to the blue coin, 
and slide back to the peninsula, where you'll wait for Wiggler to come back and spray the plant a final time. Once you hit Wiggler, you can grab the shine. For the advanced route, your movement needs to be precise and even small mistakes can lose a lot of time, though there are a few good backups. To start, jump dive forward twice, spray the plant while walking, and start your hover slide to the right when the plant activates. Roll out and spam spray the triangle, and slide quickly back to Wiggler. Here where the arrow is located will make a big difference. If the arrow is closer to the blue coin you just spawned, the cycle will be much easier. If it's closer to Wiggler's head, it will be a bit tougher. After ground pounding, hover slide to the blue coin and spam spray the triangle. Quickly hover slide back to this plant and either spray and hover slide if you have time, or backflip dive if Wiggler is approaching the plant. Grab the blue coin and hover slide back to Wiggler, ground pounding the desired segment. If you spray the plant late here and Wiggler gets hit on the body rather than the head, the last cycle will be messed up and you'll have to wait a while so make sure to spray the plant as quickly as possible. Now hover slide to the peninsula and time the plant spray so that it hits Wiggler on the end of his body. If you hit him on the head, he'll have too much speed and the body segment could end up in the water and unpoundable. If you're late, he won't get hit at all. There's one small optimization left that saves a few seconds. You can hit Wiggler a second time before grabbing the second linked pair in this level but it can be tough to go fast enough. There's a few things you can do to make this easier. Note which body segment is vulnerable in the first cycle. It's easier to hit Wiggler and grab the blue coin before it despawns if you don't have to wait for Wiggler at the second plant position. If the vulnerable segment is next to the head, then with flawless movement, the timing is pretty much perfect for this route. However, if the segment is at the end, then it's best to wait a second or so before spraying the second triangle. Then, water slide back and backflip towards the right to activate the plant. From here, spin jump hover and ground pound the arrow. RNG plays a factor here again, but if your spin jump is good enough, you should be able to pound him and grab the coin with any of the segments being vulnerable. Of course, this takes a lot of practice, but if you miss the blue coin, it's not actually too big of a deal. Just finish up Wiggler and head to the triangle before the cutscene. After the cutscene, just spray the triangle, grab the coin, and then the shine, which loses only about 15 seconds, which is hardly a run ender in this category. Gelato 2 is a very strange level with a decent amount of RNG. You can either do this level with a hover or rocket nozzle, but I think rocket makes it a bit easier, so I'd recommend going with that. Make sure you don't spam spray at all in this level as it causes the game to lag a lot. After grabbing the nozzle, water slide and spin jump rocket up to the first mirror with three plungellos. The goal for the mirrors is to arrange the plungellos in a way where you only need one ground pound to kill them all. The best way to do this is position yourself in a way where you can spray them all in a line. Of course this positioning will greatly depend on where they are and where they're moving, but do your best to line them up. Once they're all falling off near each other, walk back a bit and ground pound. If they all come off, wait a second and rock it in this direction so Mario will travel a bit during the cutscene. After, spin jump over this wall and rock it up to the second mirror. This is by far the trickiest mirror. Line them up as before, taking great care this time to make sure they are right next to each other when they fall off. Now walk over to the very opposite edge of the mirror and ground pound. Make sure the mirror edge isn't all the way at the bottom or else this probably won't work. Ideally both of the plungellos will fly off, but if this doesn't happen, just kill the last one individually. Now just dive across the trees and onto the final mirror, where you only have to spray and kill one. Rocket jump dive before the cutscene to end up a little closer to the shine. Water slide to the shine area and spam spray the large beach blue coin underneath the shine. If you collect the shine, the blue coin will land on you during the cutscene, saving a text box. Gelato 1 is pretty straightforward. Water slide over to the red plungello and roll out hover into it. Make sure to roll out from far away so you have time to spray it. Collect the blue and backflip dive next to the plant to activate it. Then water slide into the castle. For this secret, just copy this basic movement.
This spin jump here can be a little risky, and you can substitute multiple jump dives if you want. At the end, to avoid ledge grabs, make sure you do full jumps by holding A. Gelato 1 Reds is the last Gelato Shine to get. Head straight for the plant this time, spray it, and backflip dive right before the cutscene. Water slide into the castle as before. Start this sub area with a water slide and use your hover to get a fast double jump off of the sand block. This movement is pretty self-explanatory, and you can do hover slides instead of jump dives for the first section here. <laughs> 